Hi everyone, this is Yoshi UMR bringing you a little bit of a different video than usual. Since I've been enjoying the Nintendo Switch port of Digimon World Next Order so much and went for a true 100% run, I wanted to share with you all how to effectively max out the field guide relatively fast. Now, before you attempt to do this, please note that this is still going to take quite some time to do as there's a total of 232 obtainable Digimon in this game. On top of that, this is definitely a post-game activity, so I advise to max out Floria's prosperity before attempting this, so you can expect the most efficient process. So, if you are a completionist like myself, simply like to grind games to the max, or if you absolutely love Digimon and the Digimon World series, then this is going to be something for you. Also, you can absolutely watch or listen to something while doing this. So, let's get started! So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get yourself an overview of the Digimon you have yet to raise. You can do this by entering the field guide in the menu and click on each Digimon. If you have raised it before, then a short description of the Digimon will be available. If you have yet to raise it, it will say that there is data missing. Note down the Digimon you are missing from each evolution stage to get a rough overview and then continue from there. Next, you are going to need to prepare a couple things that will speed up the process of obtaining every Digimon at least once. You definitely want to stock up on Digivolution items since using them will be the easiest and fastest way to trigger an evolution. You can start by checking your warehouse and sort the items to see which Digivolution cores you already possess. The easiest way to obtain most of the Digivolution cores is by simply purchasing them from the item shops in your city. You can obtain cores for Champion Devil Digimon from Bancho Leomon in the item shop. Ultimate level cores you get from Cherubimon in the item shop, as well as Wergarurumon in the advanced item shop, and a bunch of mega level cores from Dark Darkdramon in the item shop. The cores you get from Bancho Leomon and Dark Darkdramon will change daily, so make sure to check by their shop each and every day. The ultimate level cores you get from Cherubimon and Wergarurumon will be the same every day, so you can buy them whenever you have the money. Also note that you should level up the facilities item shop and advanced item shop to the max or else they might not sell every core that you want to have. Some Digivolution cores can only be found by the treasure hunter Garudamon, so make sure to always be sending them on the 2 day, 4 day or 5 day cores. This facility needs to be maxed out as well. There are a bunch of mega level items you can also obtain from the arena rewards corner that is run by Rapidmon. For this you won't need money though, instead you need to spend the coins you can obtain in various ways in the entertainment district. Definitely talk to Nanimon and Boltmon daily since they give you fast and easy coins. Additionally, you should do as many Colosseum battles as you can to get the maximum amount of coins per day. With these coins you can then talk to Rapidmon and purchase all the Digivolution cores required to obtain every Royal Knight Mega Level Digimon. Additionally, there are some Digimon in the Dimensional Transporter that will drop Digivolution cores that you can't obtain elsewhere. To pinpoint each and every Digimon and their drop, I highly recommend using the website Grindasaur, which I will link in the description below as it simply offers the best guides for Digimon World Next Order, as well as full item lists. Definitely use these lists to help you find the Digivolution cores that you are still missing. After getting your hands on the Digivolution items, most of the preparation is already done. Now, buying all the Digivolution cores and some other items I will mention later in this video, you will need a large amount of money, so I advise you to take a pair of Digimon with high stats, probably around the 5000s to 6000s or even higher if possible, and take them to Dimension D in the Dimensional District. In there, you want to go to Memory 10, where you will find two Platinum Sukumon as well as two Platinum Numemon. If you have maxed out your Tamer skills drop type, they will drop a total of 61,200 bits. Per fight, that is. 
which will help you earn money fairly fast. Conveniently, they also drop the best recovery item in the game, give you good stats and a good amount of tamer XP, so grinding them will definitely be worth it for many reasons. Max out the Dimensional Transporter's facility grade to have the highest amount of time available in this dungeon for the max money output and you should be good to go. Please be aware that this fight can be quite annoying with all the status effects these smelly guys are dealing, so I recommend stocking up on Remedy Discs and Utility X items to speed up the fights. Using hand-to-hand -hand or AoE moves will also speed up the fight quite a bit. Of course, clearing all the other dimensions once per day is also going to help with obtaining money and some Digivolution cores, so you should consider clearing them as well if you currently have a strong pair of Digimon. Some additional ways of earning money consistently is to use the farm to only grow soft gold pumpkins and to sell the harvested ones. Also talk to Lilithmon once you have cleared the dimensions to obtain some extra bits. You can also talk to Mak Gaugamon in the Digivolution Dojo as he will reward you with bits every time you have reached a certain field guide milestone. Edamon's stock market can be an additional source for money, however this is too unpredictable and inconsistent so it's best not to fully rely on that. Apart from the Digivolution course, the Devil Chips you can buy from Lady Devimon in the Advanced Item Shop are the most important items you need to successfully max out the field guide. With your available funds, you should stock up on these items and trust me, you will have to repurchase them a lot. Once you have obtained all the Devil Chips and cores, you are good to go. Now, there are multiple ways to move on from here. You could simply feed the Devil Chips to both of your Digimon until their passing draws closer and then train in the gym to speed up the time a bit and get a new generation of partners. However, you will end up with two baby Digimon which will be unable to fight stronger opponents, so in case you need to stock up on money and items, you don't really have a strong Digimon to rely on. That is why I recommend keeping your stronger Digimon alive by feeding it Seraphimon's Rainbow Drink, which extends its life as well as using Marine Angemon's technique once per day and transfer 6 hours of your weaker Digimon's life onto your stronger and older Digimon. Your other Digimon will be the one to evolve into all the desired Digimon and keep filling up your field guide. Once you have reached the Mega or Super Ultimate form you want to simply feed your Digimon the Devil Chips until the pop-up window says you can't give them anymore. Then train a few hours and wait until the Digimon passes away. Choose whichever Digi-Egg you want to continue with. Here I simply went from left to right until I got every single rookie Digimon. And then I start feeding the Digimon the Digivolution course to get the new forms I didn't have in my field guide yet. Once at the final evolution stage, feed the Devil Chips again and repeat this cycle. Whenever your Digimon get hungry, make sure to feed your stronger Digimon Seraphimon's food so it can live longer. Eventually it will also reach max stats and in my case, it even reached the age cap of 99 days. However, it will continue to live on as long as you keep applying the life increasing techniques. Repeating this process will get you pretty far in a decent amount of time and then it only comes down to finishing up the final few Digimon that you're missing. If you just can't get your hands on the required Digivolution core, then simply try to get the desired Digimon by raising them correctly and by using the Digivolution Dojo's perks as well. Also, don't be scared by Lucimon's stat requirements. If you simply block all the other evolution options for your Tokomon or Nyaromon, then even without all of the stat requirements, your Digimon will turn into Lucimon. After a bit of grinding, you will have your field guide maxed out and proudly look at all the Digimon's descriptions and evolution paths. I hope this guide helps you out and if you have any questions on this or on 100%ing Digimon World Next Order, please feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy my content and I shall see you in the next one.